Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode 31 of my SPSS tutorials here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to make BuzzPSS grow as much as possible, so every subscription would be very much appreciated. Okay, so today is going to be the first video out of many on the uh, on probably the most important function in SPSS, which is ANOVA. And today we're going to start off with uh, the first form of an ANOVA, which is the one-way ANOVA. And what an ANOVA basically does is it compares, for the, in this case, it compares multiple groups on their the on the value of their dependent variable. So in this case, there are uh, these are uh, all people who go to church, and the independent variable is the length of the church. So how long have they been going to the church? And then we have four different values: since my birth, since I changed churches, uh, I joined a church at a later age, and I'm not part of a church. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare those four, uh, those four, uh, groups on, uh, to what level they are satisfied with their church. You can't use an independent or a paired samples t test because then you could only compare two groups. But the nice thing about an ANOVA is that you can compare multiple ones. In this case, four different groups. So to go to the one way ANOVA, you go to analyze, compare means, because you're going to compare the means of the satisfaction levels of the four groups. They're going to go to the lowest one being a one-way ANOVA. Then the dependent list is satisfaction. And the factor, so in other words, the independent variable, is the length of the church. Then contrast, you leave as this. Post hoc, you can select either LSD, Bonferroni or Chuki. Uh, my personal favorite is Bonferroni, uh, but you should uh, search out for yourself which one you should use. And then at options, you select descriptives and of course the homogeneity of variance test. Then you press continue. We're not going to bo bootstrap today. Then you press paste. Then if the syntax screen did not open yet, it will now. Then you select the code and press the big green play button. And then an output screen will open. We can see over here a new, uh, a new one-way ANOVA descriptions. Uh, we can look, take a look at the descriptives and we can see that the mean of the first group is around 3.7. Uh, for the second group, it's around 3.9. The third group, it's about 3.9. And the fourth group is around 3.5. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is the test of homogeneity of variances which is done with the Levine statistics, so the Levine test. And you're going to take a look at the highest row, which is uh, based on mean, and Levine statistic is 0 0.061, and the significance level is 0.98. And normally, this would be a problem. Normally, you're looking for significant differences. But in this case, with the Levine's test of homogeneity, there you actually want it to be non-significant. If this value is significant, it means that you can't really trust the other results. What you should then do, I will explain in a different video, but for now we're just gonna assume that in this case, uh, we're gonna assume that in this case the condition has been met because it is n the Levine's test of homogeneity is non-significant, which is a good thing. That means that the further results of this test can be trusted. So at first, you take a look at the ANOVA for satisfaction. If you look in the highest row, you see the between groups, that the significance is 0 0.000, so lower than 0 0.01. And that means that the, the, uh, that the groups differ from each other in a significant way as a whole. But we want to know, of course, all the specific differences. Is the difference between 1 and 3 significant? Is the difference between 2 and 4 significant? We're going to take a look at that in a second. But if you look at the ANOVA table, it says that the F value is 9.522, which is significant. So the groups significantly differ for each other as a whole. And you need this line if you want to report it in a nice APA matter. And then we go to the post hoc tests. And there you can see 
the difference between group one and group two is significant, has a major difference. The difference between group one and group three is not significant. And between one and four is also not significant. And furthermore, if you check all the other variables, uh, all, the, all, all the other differences, we can see that there was only one significant difference, which is between group one and two in their level of satisfaction. But if you then zoom in, you can see that most of the differences aren't significant. But since this one, so between group one and group two, is very significant, and probably there are a lot of respondents in group one and group two, therefore that uh, difference weighs very heavy, uh, very heavy. So even though the group three and group four don't uh, aren't significantly different from either one or two, it's still uh, it's still uh, in total significant because the significant differences between one and two weigh very heavy, and that's probably because it is first of all very significant, and second of all there are a lot of respondents in group one and two and less respondents in group three and four. So to sum it up, use the one-way ANOVA to compare more than two groups for a dependent variable. In this case, the four, uh, the four groups were uh, how long you've been going to church. And the dependence variable is how satisfied you are with, uh, with your church. And we took a look and we saw that the Levine's test of homogeneity was non-significant. So that condition was met. Then we took a look at the ANOVA for the overall difference which is significant but if we then looked at all the sub differences we could see that only one of them was actually significant but it weighed so heavy that the total difference was significant as well okay so that was it for today this was the one way ANOVA if you have any questions then please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be back very soon with more ANOVA videos see you on the next video bye bye